Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, June 26th. Okay, so the moon is in Aquarius energy. However, we've been in this void, of course, since 6.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday evening. The moon will be locking into Pisces energy here today at 2.09 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time. But we're still very much in this Aquarius void, meaning we've had some really powerful aha moments, some very strong visuals for our future, the path, the direction that we want to be walking over the last couple of days. But the minute that that moon went void last evening, we started questioning everything, kind of falling apart at the seams, so to speak. So we have 12 different aspects taking place here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. And the transition from Aquarius energy to Pisces energy is that we get to move out of the observer type of position that the moon in Aquarius had us in, emotionally detached from our situation and circumstance so that we could see the bigger, broader picture. We move into the Pisces energy all up in the field. So the time that we've had with the moon in Aquarius being emotionally detached from the situation and circumstance, now we're being thrown back in to see how it is that we actually feel about it. Of course, the moon in Pisces means that, again, there's a lot of emotions. Again, reminder, we're in cancer season, so this is water on water action, bringing up all the feels in order to cleanse and purify those feels away, letting us know what has to end, what has to come to a certain point of closure before we can begin again. The Pisces energy does kind of put us in a situation where we are hypersensitive, picking up on the subtle energies of the cosmos around us. And we get to tap into our higher selves, really download a different vision, different goal, different dream. And with that, some creative energy to really spark where it is that we want to pursue a new path from here. So with all of that being said, we kick the day off with the moon, void of course, in this Aquarius energy. The moon is going to be making a positive interaction with Neptune in the final degrees of his placement of power in this Pisces energy. So this means that emotionally speaking, we are kind of stepping back from the situation and circumstance. We are understanding the karmic and spiritual life lesson at play here, pushing us for an ending that we may not have chosen for ourselves. The ending, the closure, as let's call it unfavorable, as that may be to many people, it needs to happen in order to push us into new karmic chapters, new storylines, new soul contracts. Emotionally speaking, we are kind of downloading a little bit of a spiritual renewal energy that validates for us that even though it may be uncomfortable at this present moment in time, we're exactly where it is that we need to be wrapping up cycles that are no longer meant for us. The sun in Cancer energy going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. So this is a beautiful interaction because it's going to highlight for us the strength that we are now tapping into, the safety, the security that we are now pushing for in our physical realm. This is us realizing, emotionally speaking, what it is that we've been lacking, what it is that we actually want, need, and desire. And because of that, we're seeing this new version of self from a brand new set of eyes. We're seeing ourselves as a pillar of strength. Even though we may be feeling weak and vulnerable, there's a lot of strength that is coming out of being tested. We are seeing the growth. We're seeing our ability to heal thyself through these very difficult growing pains. It is at this particular point in time, 2.09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, that the moon is going to shift in the Pisces energy. About an hour later, the moon in Pisces is going to be making a positive interaction with Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars is in Taurus energy, so it's a very low, slow, steady pace, pointing ourselves in the right direction. Have we actually taken any moves yet? Well, not so much, but we are building and cultivating the inner confidence, the inner let's call it growth, power, strength needed in order to kind of push through a lot of the challenges, a lot of the obstacles that we're currently facing while trying to wrap up certain cycles. So the moon and Mars interacting in this way, first of all, there's a huge rush 
of inspiration and excitement for what is to come. We're not as attached to the past in this particular moment as we've been with some of these particular energies while being in cancer season. The moon is inspired, motivated, hell-bent, damn well and determined to really start blazing a path forward, making some progress, even if it is a couple of baby steps. We have a certain path and direction in mind. We know what we need to do for ourselves. And right now we are building and cultivating the inner realm energy needed in order to actually start making physical moves. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy, highlighting the power struggle, highlighting the parts of self that are constantly at war with one another, whether it be the ego versus the higher self, the inner realm versus the outer realm, the old version of self versus this new version of self. There are all kinds of different parts struggling for rulership, power, over our direction, over our choices and decisions at this particular point in time. What I love about this is that there's like a cleansing energy swooping in. There's an empowerment energy taking over. Pluto, of course, wants to trigger the change, the transformation in our inner realm needed in order to be strong enough and empowered enough to see where endings and closures are needed because we have a different vision on who it is that we now are, what it is that we actually want, and where it is that we need to go from here. But of course, we have to make things right in our inner realm, between our heart and our head, before we can engage the physical body to take action and make moves in the external realm. This is going to be an intense energy, understanding where the struggle has absolutely needed to happen in order to boss us up to new levels within ourselves. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Mercury. So Mercury rules over the mental plane, rules over how we see the world, how we bring information in, how we communicate our thoughts and our ideas to the world around us. Mercury is in cancer energy. And of course, blending our intellect with our intuition, we are trying to feel our way through some of the thoughts, some of the ideas that we have definitely been percolating on. This particular interaction might bring up a little bit of confusion just because we're having a hard time being able to put into words some of the aha moments, some of the epiphanies that we've had. But nonetheless, there's a certain kind of confirmation or validation that we have within ourselves. We know we're on the right track. We just kind of have to process some of the situations and circumstances we just went through a little bit more deeper, a little bit more I'm going to say from the perspective of understanding the spiritual cycle that we're ending and of course yet waiting to begin. But this particular energy is definitely putting us in a situation where we're very much in our inner realm under a totally different understanding than we are able to actually put into words. It's just this feeling, again, Moon and Pisces, this feeling that we're on the right path, doing the right thing, moving in the right direction, even though we really can't explain it. The moon is then going to trine the sun. This is beautiful, beautiful energy here. First of all, the sun in Cancer energy, the moon in Pisces energy. It's water on water action, which is what gives us our trine. The trine is a gentle nudge in the right direction, a little bit of growth, a little bit of healing. And of course, anytime the moon and the sun come together, there's an aha moment. There's a new level of emotional awareness on what it is that we want, we need, we desire within ourselves. And so this particular energy, again, reminder, water energy comes at you, crashes upon you like waves in the ocean. And what that does is it kind of cleanses you from some of the fragmented, yucky kind of energies that we've been sitting in as of late. So there's where the purifying energy comes in. And then it kind of leaves us in a vulnerable state to be very hypersensitive, superly emotionally conscious of what it is that we want to do, what we want to pursue, what we need to pursue in order to make ourselves feel safe and secure and nurtured and nourished once again. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she's in this cancer energy as well. She's going to get into the boxing ring and square off with that north node in Aries energy. So this is, and again, 
typically speaking, just when we're feeling good, just when we're receiving insight and clarity, just when we feel like we're on the right path, those darker force energies come in to kind of pull us back into the confusion, pull us back into the struggle. This is a prime example of just that. We had a beautiful interaction between the moon and the sun. We had a little bit of growth. We had a little bit of clarity. And now Venus getting into the boxing ring with the North Node, suddenly we're stuck in a state of paralysis. Why? Well, because the North Node in Aries energy is showing us the path forward. Venus and Cancer, on the other hand, is still desperately holding on to what once was and what could have been. And so the distance between where it is that we're at, emotionally speaking, between where it is that we are coming from and where it is that we want to go is very vast. And so again, there is this, I'm going to call it detachment between our past and our future, because again, our past was constructed of the old version of self with old hopes, old wishes, old dreams. And the path moving forward is the path that this new version of self wants to be walking. But emotionally speaking, we haven't quite wrapped up the loose ends of the past. So this is going to illuminate where it is that we do still have attachments to the old, to the past, to the people and places and things that the old version of self had attached themselves to. But we still have to do the work, the inner realm work, to find a certain point of closure in those particular attachments before we can wholeheartedly start pouring into the path that we want to be walking. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information communication, how it is that we express ourselves in this cancer energy, going to trine Saturn, the Lord of Karma in this Pisces energy. So again, water on water action. We love water on water action, very cleansing, very purifying, very emotionally empowering, if you will. Um, this particular interaction, though, is going to ground out our mental plane. It's going to give us a balanced energy in our mental plane, because again, we've kind of been bouncing around from the past versus the future to the present moment again, to the past, to the future, to the present, all over the place. Because Saturn brings a reality check, because he anchors us in the present moment, because he really pushes us to lean into what actually is instead of what it could have been, this is going to give us a totally different perspective. This is going to be like ground zero, um, a brand new base, brand new foundation, if you will, for our thoughts to be stemming from. So this tells me that there's been a little bit of an aha moment, a little bit of an epiphany, a little bit of clarity on where it is that we have to stop going back and trying to beat a dead horse, so to speak. There's this certain aha moment where we're just like, you know what? I've spent so much time, energy, thinking about what could have been. Let's stop that. Let's deal with life as it is. Let's accept the terms of the current situation and circumstance. And let's kind of focus on what we can do from here. So definitely a little bit of a sobering energy taking over our mental plane, but very much needed at this particular juncture. The moon in this Pisces energy going to get into the boxing ring and square off with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. So again, Another example of when we finally reach a high point, when we gain clarity, when we're feeling good, suddenly those darker energies try to pull us back. The Pisces energy that the moon is in and the Gemini energy that Jupiter is in, they're both mutable energies. Mutability means we're changing our mind. Now, are we changing our mind for better or for worse? That is yet to be determined. I would say because we just had this reality check, because we just had this grounding energy take over our mental plane, this is our emotions now moving into a fear-based reactive state of what that actually means to let go of the past, to have closure to a certain degree, and where it is in our mental plane that we're not willing to continue with that looping narrative, that loop movie of what could have been. So of course, a square doesn't feel good. It's going to illuminate where it is that there is tension, where it is that there is conflict, because we are going through growing pains. We are going through an adjustment period at this particular juncture. Emotionally speaking, we want to run and hide. We don't want to deal with life. We don't want to deal with reality, especially where Jupiter is concerned. Why? 
because Jupiter and Gemini energy is offering us two very different choice points, different decision points, different paths, different directions. Jupiter wants us to grow. He wants us to evolve. He wants us to abandon our comfort zone and move into new foreign territory. But the Gemini energy has us so divided that again, one part of us is stuck in the past. The other part of us is stuck in the future. What is lacking is this present moment. We are not grounded. We are not anchored in this present moment. So the moon goes ahead. Semi squares Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. And again, Chiron has been the, let's call it motivating force of this new version of self to come out to play, to fully emerge. The moon interacting with Chiron, bringing up all the fears, all the doubts, all the insecurities, all of the realizations of, oh my goodness, if I am anchoring in this new version of self and I am honoring what this new version of self wants, needs, and desires, then I am going to have to be responsible and accountable for making some very dramatic changes in my life that have me in a state of panic as of right now. So again, we have to feel the feels. We have to realize that the moon in Pisces brings up all of the not so nice thoughts and feelings in order for us to fix them, heal them, resolve them as we put them in the past and we prepare to move on into a brand new chapter. So we have to sit in it. We have to feel it. You have to feel before you can heal. The moon goes ahead, makes a positive interaction with the North Node and Aries energy. So we obviously don't sit in that funk. We don't sit in the fear. We don't sit in that, I'm going to call it insecurity for too long. The moon interacting with the North Node is showing us where it is that we have an opportunity to take a step forward, where we do have an opportunity to kind of grow up and grow through what it is that we're growing through. We do have the opportunity to heal from some of the situations and circumstances that we're resisting and actually letting go at this point. And that in itself is inspiring. That in itself is motivating. That in itself is putting us in a better situation, mind, body, and soul, to start thinking more of the future instead of crying over spilled milk of the past. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Pisces energy trining beautiful interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in that cancer energy. So again, there is a certain amount of growth that just came out of sitting in that funky, fearful state. There's a certain amount of clarity that came out of realizing what it is that we're afraid to let go of, realizing that that wasn't filling our cup up anyways. We are realizing what it is that we want, we need, we desire, not only to find that emotional peace, that safety, that security within us, but to actually find relationship dynamics that are encouraging and supporting us in what it is that we have to do to fulfill the certain wants, needs, and desires within ourselves. So this is definitely putting us in a totally different situation to see where it is that we've gained a lot of clarity from sitting in that earlier darkness. And because of that, where it is now that we're being drawn to a brand new certain light. <laughs>